Welcome to Lesson 4 of Module 6, A Notation for Entity Relationship Diagrams. I'm going to start with an odd trivia question about one of the data modeling concepts covered in this lesson. What data modeling concept reminds me of Cincinnati Chile? Lesson 4 continues on the relationship variations theme that was started in Lesson 3. The relationship variations covered in Lesson 4 do not occur often in practice. However, when occurring, these variations are important parts of a data model. The objectives in this lesson involve two specialized types of relationships, self-identifying relationships and M-way relationships. You should be able to draw an instance diagram to depict a self-referencing relationship. You should be able to explain an example of an M-way relationship situation in an ERD. The most important objective is to appreciate specialized relationships but avoid temptation to overuse them. Typical novice mistakes in data modeling are to overuse specialized relationships. A self-referencing relationship involves connections among members of the same set. Self-referencing relationships are sometimes called reflexive relationships because they are like a reflection in a mirror. This partial ERD shows two self-referencing relationships involving the faculty and course entity types. Both relationships involve two entity types that are the same, faculty for supervisors and course for prerequisite to. Note both relationships start and terminate with the same entity type. These relationships depict important concepts in a university database. The supervisor's relationship depicts an organizational chart, while the prerequisite relationship depicts course dependencies that can affect a student's course planning. Self-referencing relationships occur in a variety of business situations. Any set that can be visualized as a hierarchy can be represented as a self-referencing relationship. Typical examples include hierarchical charts of accounts, genealogical charts, part designs, and transportation routes. In these examples, self-referencing relationships are an important part of the database. For self-referencing relationships, it is important to distinguish between one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationships. An instance diagram can help you understand the difference. The hierarchy in Part A shows an instance diagram for the supervisor's relationship. Notice that each faculty has at most one superior. For example, Faculty 2 and Faculty 3 have Faculty 1 as a superior. Therefore, supervisors is a one-to-many relationship because each faculty can have at most one supervisor. In contrast, there is no such restriction in the instance diagram for the prerequisite relationship shown in Part B. For example, IS-461 has two prerequisites, IS-480 and IS-460, while IS-320 is a prerequisite to both IS-480 and IS-460. Therefore, prerequisite 2 is a many-to-many -many relationship because a course can be a prerequisite to many courses, and a course can have many prerequisites. An M-way relationship involves an association of more than two entity types. The crow's foot notation only supports binary relationships, so M-way relationships cannot be directly represented. Instead, an M-way relationship is indirectly represented as an associative entity type in a collection of one-to-many relationships. The typical value for M is 3, as relationships involving more than three entity types are very rare in practice. Three-way relationships are not common in practice either, but important when occurring. In this ERD, three one-to-many relationships link the associative entity type uses to the part, supplier, and project entity types. The uses entity type is associative because its role is to connect other entity types. Because associative entity types provide a connecting role, they are sometimes given names using active verbs. In addition, associative entity types are always weak, as they must borrow the entire primary key. For example, the uses entity type obtains its primary key through the three identifying relationships. The issue of when to use an M-way associative entity type can be difficult to understand. If a database only needs to record pairs of facts, an M-way associative entity type is not needed. For example, if a database only needs to record who supplies a part and what projects use a part, then an M-way associative entity type should not be used. 
In this case, there should be binary relationships between supplier and part and between project and part. You should use an MWA associative entity type when the database should record combinations of three or more entities rather than just combinations of two entities. For example, if a database needs to record which supplier provide parts on specific projects, an MWA associative type is needed. Now, let's wrap up lesson four about relationship variations for ERDs. This lesson covered two important variations, self-identifying relationships and MWA relationships. Self-referencing relationships support business requirements in which members of a set are represented as a hierarchy. Typical examples include hierarchical charts of accounts, genealogical charts, part designs, and transportation routes. An MWA relationship represents a business situation involving a combination of more than two entities. Because the crow's foot notation only represents binary relationships, an associative entity type and a collection of one-to-many identifying relationships are used. These relationships are not common in practice, but important when they occur. However, typical novice mistakes are to overuse specialized relationships, so make sure you understand them before using them in practice. MWA relationships are especially error-prone because of the complexity of business situations involving more than two entities. For modules 6 and 7, you should focus on understanding the notation in an ERD for both kinds of specialized relationships. Modules 8 and 9 will give you practice with analyzing narrative problem statements to identify these specialized kinds of relationships in business requirements. Lesson 4 concludes Module 6. Module 7 refines your background about the notation of ERDs, covering diagram rules and practice problems. Now, in answer to the opening question, an M-way relationship reminds me of Cincinnati Chili, a favorite comfort food found in chili parlor restaurants in Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati Chili comes in two to five varieties. The basic two-way involves spaghetti topped with chili sauce. For a three-way, cheese is also added. For a four-way, onions are added. For a five-way, beans are added, so that a five-way contains spaghetti, chili sauce, cheese, onions, and beans. M-way relationships in ERD involve M greater than two. The most common value for M in an M-way relationship is three. If you ever visit Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, and eat chili, think about M-way relationships in data modeling.